All right, what's up? This is Devin DeVore of Metal Kills. I got Eric here, Hate Eternal. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. good. We're, have, we're here backstage uh, getting some shit done before your show. Um, obviously, this, how long has this tour been going on? Has it only been a few weeks? or yeah, Not even a week. Um, you started, right? Just yeah. like a week ago or something like that? We just started, uh, I think it's like a fifth show. Yeah, it's going great. It's going awesome. And it goes all the way to the end of pretty much summer, right? End of July or something yeah, like that? Yeah, it's July 14th in Florida. Okay. Go and you guys are you guys are from Florida. Yes. So that I'm must be from, good, right? I can read it. Yep. Yeah. And um in Orlando, drive two hours on that. Perfect, dude. Yeah. It's better than like, okay, I'm all the way on the other side of the you know, oh, the sucks. United States or I'm like in Canada or something like that. And now I have to like wait for for my flight and or whatever. And if yeah. you're on the road, that's even worse. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? So and obviously you have a new album that just came out not that long ago, obviously Phoenix Monks the Ashes. Mm -hmm. Uh, how's that going going for you? Going great, man. Uh, we did, came out about a month ago and uh, we just we touring it, playing a lot of songs. Fans have been real happy with it. I see some of them singing them, so I know that means that they're digging them. So we even got good reviews, so that's always a plus. <laughs> uh, you know, kind of goes hand in hand, right? Well, yeah, you never know, man. You know, uh, pretty much, I mean, Eight Eternals a band that people love and some people hate. That's right. a love hate relationship, man. You know, like, sounds like my ex girlfriend. It, you know, I guess it is. It's like a like an ex wife or something. Have one of those too. <laughs> oh, I don't know, but no, well, I do have an ex girlfriend. Well, she well she was a musician too. That was just a bad idea. Oh, that yeah, was bad. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Well, because he always told girls don't date musicians, but then when you date a girl that is a musician, it's kind of like the same shit. Wow, <laughs> I guess that could be tough. So I mean, so far the response has been good. Uh, yeah, that's been awesome. Fans have been singing the songs, which is always a plus. That means mm -hmm. you kind of, that basically tells you that you guys did exactly what you guys were looking to do. Yeah. You created something that people love, people can relate to it, people out there and they're ready to, you know, thrash around and let loose and they fucking love that shit. Yeah. Cool, man. And fucking, um, the other question I was going to ask, uh, you know, so far you've only been on the road for like a week, but has anything interesting happened so far in any of the, the cities that you've been at um, that, that you can like, Say, well, I was, we were just playing at this one place and we saw like the weirdest shit and like, you know, like this shit happened. It doesn't mean that you were on stage when it happened. It could have been, you could have been just driving. Well, we had some crazy shit happen the other day. Um, I was driving, we were leaving from uh, Denver, going to Arizona, driving at night. And there's a deer on the road, big fucking deer in the road. And I'm in the right lane, he's looking to the left and I'm going about 75 because it's 75 speed limit. Right. 70. Um, I'm thinking, okay, what the fuck am I doing? I hit the deer. I'm going to swerve. I don't want to swerve because I'm right. going to fucking die. But um, so I just decided to swerve, go into the shoulder. Right. I was hauling. You know, I was hauling ass. It was pitch dark out there. So I had good eyes. I see him a while away. I go to the right. I'm thinking, oh shit, we got this thing cleared. I, I, I own a Dodge Sprinter. So it's like yeah. a long van. Yep. All of a sudden, like we're driving by and I see him like he turns around and he runs right into the fucking van. <sighs> and so like, in the, and then like, I was like, holy shit, you know what the hell? Like it was just loud as hell. We pull over and there's this huge dent in my van. <laughs> at the end of the, at the corner, like the, the tail end of the van. I'm yeah. like, I'm like, he was all like, all you had to do is wait one more second, man. There was no blood. So I'm like, right, right. maybe he got knocked down. Maybe he's all right. I don't know. But, it's probably but fine. It's probably it's some of the craziest shit. I mean, it, a deer, I thought we were past them, and then literally just. Oh, he ch he challenged the van. He did. I, I don't know if he. Know maybe, if he maybe, uh, I don't know if he won, but he, it wasn't bloody. But damn, the whole my corner crazy. of the van is totally dented. So that, that, that's definitely the, some crazy, crazy shit. That, that doesn't happen too often. You might get like a squirrel or, you know, something. No, like foxes like running their across yeah. the so like, but a deer, usually a deer just stays, they stay in one place. They don't, or they run, they run. Just freaked out. Yeah, that's freaked probably what happened. Freaked out. But I think he made it. I I'm pretty sure. I hope he made it, man. I'm pretty sure. I mean, if he ran into the van, the chances of him making, probably, he probably just knocked himself out of I hope so. Yeah. But that's what we were going to think. Yeah, that's, yeah that's, that's, that's what happened. That's what I tell that's myself. It. Like, <laughs> you know, it was pretty terrible because I felt like shit there. But um, there was no blood, so I'm hoping he maybe just got knocked so nobody else was on the road so hopefully it's all right well i mean the the good news is you guys made it here to hollywood 
uh, you know, here at Keith yeah. Out, yeah. continuing on on this on this tour. Uh, you yeah. still have a ways to go yeah. before you get back home, but at least it ends at home, if anything. So that's, right. so that's always good. You're stuck with you here at the Key Club. Yeah, but yeah. when's the last time you played uh, uh, Keith Club? Jeez, I'm trying to think. Not too long. I mean, I've played here so many times. You know, yeah. Key Club. And I love playing here. It's always a good show. The sound is great here. It's a great sound. Great people work here. And, I mean, we've always had a good show at the Key Club for all the years of Haiti Tunnel. Uh, I mean, we've been playing here for years. So I'm really excited about tonight, man. We're gonna Since like 96? Uh, was it 96? Am I wrong? Uh, our was first it? show here was probably in the uh, 2000s. 2000s. Yeah. Either way, dude, that's like, I don't even know what year it is, right? Like about 10 years that. Yeah. Um, Metal Kills is also like a crossover of, of horror. It's like horror movies and stuff like that. Is that stuff that you get into? Oh, yeah. Do you have uh, either like a current, you know, horror movie that you like or, or one in particular maybe you've watched recently? Man, not, to be honest with you, there's not a lot of current horror movies that I yeah. really enjoy. It's one of the good old classics, you know. Uh, we are watching The Gates of Hell recently. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> yeah. like anything Fuji does, Fuji is awesome. But uh, or Zombie, you know, The Exorcist, or oh, all, all the classics, I guess. That's really what I like a lot. I think it's that that whole. I think Blu-ray kind of killed everything. Yeah, I you know. Think it's funny that yeah, HD uh, Blu-ray bullshit or whatever. I mean, I have Blu-ray out, you know, but well, yeah. Uh, I also have like a ton of videotapes from old, like yeah, Phantom, all these old school the tapes on video. So uh, sometimes just watching on video just because it's gritty and it looks better. It's kind of like older recordings of music. Some of them I think sound phenomenal exactly. in their um, imperfections, you know. So now everything maybe looks all perfect but it's really not well some engineers try depending you know who you work with they try to kind of get that same like soft you know sound yeah you know they'll, they'll go and do all the mixes and everything digitally and then run it through tape yeah um not everybody does it but the the, the guys that do do it you kind of it has that same like feeling yeah. of like listening to tape or even to like vinyl i always try to yeah. like you know, when i'm producing records i'm always trying to uh have the vibe of older school albums from You know the the quality of this, what people expect today. I try to bridge the gap there. You know, for me. Well, the technology definitely helps. Yeah, technology. You're not sitting there, you know, like physically cutting tape. Just don't use it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's 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 an old school shit. There. Yeah. Well, there actually is a couple horror movies you should probably you should probably check out since you like some of the older school stuff. Um, I saw The Devil, which it came, came I out in Korea. Seen that one yet. I know I have seen it. Uh, I, I've seen the ad for it, but I haven't seen it. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. Uh, when I watched it, I was surprised. It's you know, it's a, it's a slasher film, um, and there's subtitles, which you know sometimes sucks, but it was kind of cool. Yeah, I can, I can look past that. And then you could tell it was kind of like low budget, so it wasn't like overly done. It wasn't you know, it wasn't really high res, mm -hmm. even though it was in HD. But you know, it didn't really have like that super clean look. I see. Um, and also, is it Insidious? Oh, okay. Right. Insidious totally had. It's one of those like old school movies where like all of a sudden like kind of like Evil Dead. You're just sitting there, and there's like a person just standing there, but it, it gets you for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you know. Versus having all that, you know, technology that they use, where there's like this crazy monsters coming at you and whatever, like bullshit, where it's not the same. Just like, hey, those cool effects. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean, or whatever. But you should definitely check that out, dude. Well, cool, man. I appreciate your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for the interview. Metalkills.com, Eric, Hate Eternal, and they're gonna rock it tonight. All right, guys. Good luck on tour. Take care.